Our dairy cow, June, is a year past freshened, but she is still producing more milk than we can just drink. So today, I'm gonna do a mozzarella, which I've made, mozzarella is pretty much the only cheese that I've been making from our milk. It's very easy to do. Anybody can make it. It doesn't require a lot of skills. It also is done the same day that you make it. get all of the cream off the top. Because one really quick and easy way for us to get rid of milk and cream is to make butter. We use a ton of butter, it keeps really well, and so I'm gonna definitely do that first. Okay, I got a lot of the cream strained off of several jars here. I have over a half gallon of cream that I'll make into butter. I have a quarter of a cup of water in here and then a cup of water here. I'm gonna get a quarter of a teaspoon of animal rennet into this one and then a teaspoon and a half of citric acid into this one. Now with cheese making, you can just pour this directly into the milk, but it does help if it's already dissolved into water. So first I'm gonna add my citric acid water to my pot. I really need a larger pot, but this is just what I have right now. And then I'm gonna add, on top of that, a gallon of milk. So I'm gonna make it a gallon at a time. Now I just wanna bring this to about 100 degrees. Stirring constantly, I don't want it to get overly hot. I decided I wanna get another pot going simultaneously so I can get this job hopefully done a lot faster. So I'm gonna get another gallon going over here. here is to 100 degrees, so now I'm going to add in my quarter teaspoon of animal rennet. Now the key with this, with mozzarella cheese, is you want to pull from the bottom to make sure that all the milk gets incorporated. So you just do like a very up and down motion. Then I'm just going to stir this for about 30 seconds, and then after that, I'm just gonna get the lid on, allow it to sit for 10 minutes, and then I'll show you what happens after that. Meanwhile, this one will be coming to 100 degrees, and I'll be basically doing the exact same thing with it, and they'll both sit for 10 minutes. I'll probably get some dishes done, then start working on my butter if I have time before cutting into the curds. Okay, this has happened to me another time I made mozzarella. <laughs> um, it turns out still, but it doesn't look like it's supposed to. And I, I really don't know why. Maybe some of you guys could fill me in on this. I have a feeling that maybe it has to do with using older milk as opposed to fresh milk. I know you're supposed to use fresh milk with mozzarella, but I don't have super fresh milk, or at least I'm trying to get rid of all of it. So I'm still gonna make this as the rest of the directions go, but it's supposed to not look quite like this, but it again, it still turns out. So I'm gonna strain off the whey here and then I'm going to push out any excess whey, and then I'm going to do some stretches by putting it into hot liquid. I can just use, I can just reheat this whey or some water and then salt it and form it into a ball. Stretching round two here. Ooh. Get out any excess whey. It's quite hot, but it's the only way to work it.
Okay, just formed this into a nice little mozzarella ball. All right, let's see how this one firmed up. Maybe a little better. Mm, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna cut the curds here. And then just the same process, straining off the way. You can already see it all there. Stretching it, adding salt. Now I'm moving on to butter making from all of the cream. So I'm making mozzarella cheese with the skim milk, butter from the cream. The only thing I'm gonna be left with now is whey and buttermilk, which I have my own solutions for using those up as well. Okay, so I've now processed lots of milk. Let's see here. I did three gallons worth of mozzarella cheese. One here. These two have already flattened out and cooled, so I'm gonna actually use some for pizza. You end up with so much extra whey, and we don't have pigs. Whey-fed pigs are the way to go. That's a really good way to use up all the whey. I am going to make a soup with that and then ultimately probably feed some to the chickens. I'll use the buttermilk in buttermilk pancakes. It also is really delicious in smoothies, and that's how we use up so many gallons of milk here on our homestead. As always, if you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make lots of videos where I show you just life on the homestead and what that entails. Coming up, I'm going to be sharing what we're doing with all of the eggs. I've shared with you how to water glass them, how to freeze them. We are getting so many more eggs than we know what to do with. And so a new solution I'm gonna be trying right here on my channel is coming very soon. I wonder if any of you can actually guess what that's gonna be. Leave the guess down in the comments below and make sure to follow along for that. As always, thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse. <laughs>